Imagine NASA's Voyager probes as the ultimate space adventures, embarking on a mind-blowing journey beyond our wildest dreams. They're not just keeping tabs on Earth, but they're also uncovering the secrets of our entire solar system and beyond. It's been a whopping 46 years, and these fantastic spacecraft are still dazzling scientists with fresh, jaw-dropping insights into the vast expanse of space. Now, picture this. Their memory is a mere 3 million times smaller than our sleek smartphones, and they chug along at a speed that's 38,000 times slower than our fastest 5G internet connection. Yet, against all odds, these extraordinary probes continue to be the trailblazers of space exploration. Hold on to your seats, because Voyager 1 has recently stumbled upon an unthinkable revelation in interstellar space, throwing everything we thought we knew about the universe into a cosmic tizzy. It's not just your typical discovery. Oh no. This finding is so bizarre that even seasoned scientists are left scratching their heads in amazement. The burning question. What on Earth or beyond did Voyager 1 find, and how does it flip our cosmic understanding on its head? Get ready for an intergalactic roller coaster as we dive into the mind-bending details. Welcome to Spaceverse. Dive into the cosmic journey of the Voyager probes and explore the mysteries encoded in the golden records. From the heliosphere to the Earth cloud, join us on a celestial adventure beyond our solar system. Subscribe for a cosmic exploration of the universe. Travel back to the extraordinary date of September 5, 1977, when the magic unfolded at Cape Canaveral in Florida. It was on this remarkable day that Voyager 1 commenced its celestial odyssey into space, propelled by the mighty Titan III or Centaur rocket. A mere 15 days later, on August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 joined the cosmic party, embarking on its own adventure into the vast universe. Initially tasked with exploring the gas giants of our solar system, such as Jupiter and Saturn, along with their orbiting moons, these intrepid voyagers surpassed all expectations. Breaking records left and right, they ventured far beyond their intended destinations, becoming the longest-lasting and farthest-traveling spacecraft ever created by humans. Their journey even led them to the uncharted territory of interstellar space, a previously unexplored realm within our galaxy. Presently, these space pioneers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, reside more than 12 billion miles away from Earth, continuously astonishing scientists with their unexpected discoveries. The Voyager wind probes have achieved remarkable feats. Over 40 years ago, they revolutionized our understanding of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, revealing vibrant and dynamic worlds instead of the anticipated dull and cratered surfaces akin to our own moon. Voyager 2, in a historic move, swung by Uranus in 1986, and just three years later, whizzed past Neptune, marking the only spacecraft to accomplish such a feat. NASA has implemented ingenious strategies to prolong the operational lifespan of the Voyager probes, deactivating non-essential components and aiming for functionality until at least 2030. For the dedicated team involved since the mission's inception, the ongoing journey sparks a blend of joy and nostalgia. Despite initial expectations of mission completion, a recent revelation from outer space has injected renewed vigor into the Voyager saga. The spacecraft's wealth of information has become a scientific treasure trove, captivating scientists with images and data collected even before reaching the outer planets. Voyager 1's early transmissions from a considerable distance unveiled captivating images of Jupiter, with a particular focus on its moon, Io, showcasing unprecedented volcanic activity. This included signals from Voyager 1's instruments capturing massive volcanic eruptions and material ejected into space, notably the eruption of the volcano Pele on Io surpassing Mount Everest in height and covering an area nearly as vast as France. The collective effort of the Voyagers yielded over 33,000 images of Jupiter and its moons, showcasing the breathtaking beauty of Jupiter and the diverse landscapes of its satellites. Before the recent groundbreaking discovery, these intrepid spacecraft had been unraveling oil inspiring secrets since the inception of their journey. Among these revelations was the surprising revelation that Jupiter possesses rings, albeit faint ones adding an extra layer of intrigue to the giant planet. Additionally, Voyager 2 unveiled the thick icy shell of Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 moons, measuring over 60 miles in thickness. These revelations prompted scientists to reconsider their preconceptions about celestial bodies in the distant reaches of space and fueled curiosity about the potential habitability of icy moons like Europa. 
The Voyagers bid farewell to Jupiter and received a crucial gravitational boost, a powerful kick, propelling them towards Saturn and liberating them from the Sun's gravitational pull. This momentum allowed Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 to embark on distinct trajectories into the vastness of space. Voyager 1, after approaching Saturn, explored the intriguing mysteries of its moon Titan with an orange, hazy atmosphere, redirecting its focus beyond our solar system. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 undertook remarkable adventures, flying past Uranus in 1986, discovering 10 new moons, and three years later, reaching Neptune. The spacecraft measured record-breaking winds on Neptune, reaching 1,000 miles per hour, the fastest ever recorded on a solar system planet. As Voyager 2 approached Neptune from just 2,980 miles away, it unveiled unprecedented details about this distant ice giant, including Triton, Neptune's largest moon, known for its extreme cold, and icy volcanoes emitting nitrogen gas and frozen substances into its sparse atmosphere. These revelations highlighted the captivating diversity of planets and moons in our solar system, even those situated at its outermost boundaries. In the vast expanse of cosmic exploration, a space adventure unfolded, and a key figure in keeping the journey alive was none other than the renowned stargazer, Carl Sagan. An integral part of the team responsible for capturing images for the Voyager mission, Sagan harbored a unique vision. Before bidding farewell to the cameras, he was determined to immortalize a final set of pictures, a special gift for every inhabitant of Earth. Offering a poignant glimpse of our home from the far reaches of space, Sagan's perseverance paid off. Culminating in a momentous event on Valentine's Day in 1990, Voyager 1, turning its camera toward the inner solar system, captured the iconic pale blue dot from a remarkable distance of 3.8 billion miles marking it as the farthest ever photograph of Earth. The image portrays our planet as a minuscule pale blue dot against the cosmic backdrop. Even after four decades, the enduring Voyager spacecrafts persist in their cosmic journey, transmitting vital information from the farthest reaches of space. In a nostalgic nod to old-school tech, the probes employ an ancient Tate track tape system, a choice made during the 70s era space exploration for its reliability and durability in the early days of digital storage. These tapes, not just recordings of music, but repositories of invaluable scientific data, hold the secrets to some of the universe's profound mysteries, despite encountering extreme challenges such as temperature fluctuations, space radiation, and the void of space. The Voyager spacecrafts not only endure but thrive, like in descending grandparents on an Antarctic adventure where they not only survive but flourish. Now let's delve into why the Voyager missions have been so successful. The key lies in a remarkable maneuver known as gravity assist maneuvers. Picture this scenario. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, two intrepid space adventurers, embarked on an extensive mission to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. To reach these distant destinations and collect vital information, they required more than just their engines. Intergravity assists, a celestial dance of sorts, instead of solely relying on their engines. These spacecraft engaged in a fascinating cosmic dance with some of the solar system's massive planets. Harnessing the gravitational pull of these celestial giants, they executed slingshot maneuvers, conserving fuel and attaining the necessary speed to visit a myriad of diverse locations. Now let's revisit the fundamental concept of gravity assist, also known as a gravitational slingshot, which involves harnessing speed from a planet as the spacecraft passes by. Picture Voyager 1 approaching Jupiter, a colossal gas giant with gravitational strength matching its size. The brilliant minds at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory orchestrated Voyager 1's trajectory around Jupiter with precision, ensuring it traversed the planet at just the right angle and speed. Jupiter's gravitational pull acted as a cosmic boost, accelerating the spacecraft like a space power-up. However, executing this maneuver requires finesse, an artful touch. Approaching Jupiter incorrectly could have spelled disaster, sending Voyager 1 off course. Fortunately, the NASA experts navigated the challenge successfully, turning the cosmic dance with the planets into a resounding triumph. The level of accuracy required is nothing short of astounding. Remarkably, the ingenious scientists and engineers behind this cosmic dance achieved this feat not just once but multiple times. Thanks to these gravity assists, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 embarked on a breathtaking journey through the solar system. Take for instance, Voyager 2, which leveraged boosts from Jupiter and Saturn to propel itself to Uranus and Neptune. 
these celestial dances played a pivotal role in orchestrating the Grand Tour. Without these slingshot maneuvers, the Voyager missions wouldn't have attained the awe-inspiring success they did. Voyager 1 reached interstellar space, closely followed by Voyager 2, all made possible by the meticulously precise gravity assists they received. The concept behind gravity assists may be straightforward, but the execution is intricate. Voyager 2's grand tour demanded an immense level of precision. Missing any of these gravitational boosts could have jeopardized the entire mission. Yet, the determined individuals at the helm were resolute in their pursuit of gathering every nugget of knowledge possible. In the quest to comprehend the intricacies of gravity assist, scientists and astronomers stumbled upon an even more enigmatic facet of the vast outer space. The revelation of the Deep Space Network. The Deep Space Network? While the Voyager missions harnessed gravity assist maneuvers for celestial navigation, another crucial element facilitated the entire operation. The Deep Space Network, abbreviated as DSN. Think of it as a cosmic communication line that allowed us to stay connected with our intrepid Voyager probes as they delved into the uncharted. So, what exactly is the Deep Space Network? It may not be as dazzling as a spaceship but its significance cannot be overstated. The DSN functions as an extensive network of radio antennas scattered across different parts of the world, including California, Spain, and Australia. These colossal dishes, some spanning as wide as 70 meters, serve as celestial megaphones, enabling communication with spacecraft situated far beyond. Now let's delve into its pivotal role in the Voyager missions. The Voyager probes, equipped with an array of cameras and sensors, served as our eyes and ears in the vastness of space to decipher the data they transmitted and issue instructions. A robust communication system was imperative, and that's precisely where the DSN played a crucial role. Envision this cosmic scenario. Voyager 1, venturing into the distant reaches of our solar system, sends a message back to Earth. It's a faint signal hurtling through space at incredible speed. By the time it reaches Earth, it's weakened considerably. However, the formidable antennas of the Deep Space Network, or DSN, stand ready to capture this faint whisper from Voyager. The DSN's colossal dishes lock onto the subtle signal, transforming it into data that scientists can analyze. The DSN isn't merely a signal catcher. It's a dynamic communicator. In the ever-evolving missions like Voyager, adjustments are a constant necessity. Scientists and engineers must adapt their plans or issue instructions to the spacecraft. These commands traverse space through the DSN, propelled towards Voyager-like interstellar missives. It's sucked into a two-way conversation, an ongoing dialogue between Earth and the farthest human-made entities in space. One remarkable facet of the DSN is its ceaseless operation, working tirelessly 24-7, always attuned to those distant signals. The Deep Space Network isn't just an array of antennas. It's our interstellar connection. It's the conduit that sustains the narratives of the Voyager missions. Even as the spacecraft ventures far beyond our solar system, boldly exploring the uncharted realms of interstellar space. Navigating the vast expanse of interstellar space is a more attainable feat than reaching the distant fringes of our solar system. Picture the solar system as a balloon, encompassing a cloud of comet-like objects far beyond, held in place by the gravitational influence of the Sun. This distant realm is known as the Oort Cloud, potentially extending halfway to the nearest star. It is anticipated to take the Voyager probes approximately 300 more years to approach its outer boundaries. Now, when delving into interstellar space, the journey commences beyond the point where the solar wind, a continuous flow of charged particles and magnetic fields emitted by the sun, concludes. The solar wind acts as an inflating balloon, creating a protective bubble known as the heliosphere. This shield, propelled by the solar wind, encounters resistance from interstellar matter leading to the formation of a boundary called the termination shock. The demarcation between our solar system and interstellar space is referred to as the heliopause, positioned at a considerable distance. Initial estimations speculated it to be as close as Jupiter, but more precise calculations in 1993 placed it around 25 times the distance from Earth to the Sun, denoted as one astronomical unit or O. Voyager 1 reached this boundary approximately two decades after these calculations identifying an increase in plasma density. In contrast, Voyager 2 reached the interstellar seashore in 2018, yet it observed no alterations in the magnetic field. This outcome was unexpected, as prevailing theories anticipated fluctuations linked to the Sin's 11-year cycle.
the solar wind exhibited its maximum strength upon Voyager 2's arrival, defying these theoretical predictions. As the Voyager probes furnish tangible data, scientists are honing their models to understand how the heliosphere interacts with interstellar space. In simpler terms, our Sun departed from a hot, ionized zone and entered a partially ionized section of the galaxy. This hot zone likely materialized when nearby ancient stars exploded in supernovae, heating the space and disrupting nearby atoms. Envision it akin to the seaside, with turbulent waves and swirling water, a dynamic and tumultuous scene. Magnetic fields in this lively region twist and turn, deviating from the smooth patterns typically envisioned by theorists. Due to the heliosphere's influence on the space between stars, the Voyagers detected numerous minor changes near the heliopause, although significant disparities in magnetic fields at larger scales were less evident. Eventually, the spacecraft will depart from this turbulent region and encounter the pristine interstellar magnetic field. The due to these remarkable spacecraft won't be a simple task. Both Voyager probes continue to harbor operational instruments, powered by a system that converts heat from plutonium decay into electricity. However, the power output is gradually diminishing by about 4 watts annually, prompting the team to adopt triage measures. While it remains captivating to witness the Voyager's exploration of space, preparations are underway to bid them farewell as they venture onward. The Voyager probes will persist in their exploration, even if they lose the ability to communicate with us. Voyager 1 is set to swing by Proxima Centauri, our neighboring star, in a staggering 16,700 years, while Voyager 2 will catch up a bit later, in 3,600 years. Subsequently, they will continue circling the galaxy for millions of years, outlasting our Sun and the disappearance of the heliosphere. All of this, dedicated to the one little pale blue dot we call home. It's as if their cosmic adventure never truly concludes. The Voyager probes might still be out there, not significantly worse for wear. There's a possibility they could transmit a final message during their journey, but not through radio waves and not intended for us humans. Instead, they carry two recordings, reminiscent of old school tech, but with a modern coolness factor. These records, known as the Golden Records, are crafted from copper, featuring a shiny gold cover and wrapped in aluminum. Embedded in the grooves of these records are fascinating elements, a treasure trove of about 90 minutes of music, including Batch's Brandon Bird Concerto No. 2 and Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good. Additionally, there are captivating images encompassing kids, dolphins, dancers, sunsets, and audio snippets like the sounds of crickets, rain, and a mother giving her child a smooch. Notably, even Jimmy Carter, the president at the time of the Voyager launches, left a message on these records. It reads, We cast this message into the cosmos, expressing a sentiment of hope, envisioning a future where, after resolving our earthly issues, we can unite with other civilizations out there. This record serves as a message of hope and goodwill from Earth to the vast and awe-inspiring universe. What are your thoughts? Do you still consider these probes the best in outer space? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And that's it. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey at Spaceverse. If you enjoyed unraveling the mysteries of the Voyager probes and exploring the wonders beyond our solar system, don't forget to hit subscribe. Stay tuned for more celestial adventures, and may your curiosity continue to reach for the stars.